All right, today we're going to talk about using um, this tire. I don't know what it's called, slime. We're going to put it in our tire. I have a back tire that's flat. It actually has a couple of holes in it. You don't have to take yours out of the, the wheel and tire like I did. But um, I, I'm going to pump it up just because I want to see how big the holes are. And I want to see what this does with that size hole. It does say it fills up to uh, an eighth of an eighth of an inch hole. So I'm sure that it'll be fine in this case, but I just want to pump it up and see if I have just one hole or several. And then I'm going to go through the instructions here and we're going to see how well this stuff works on our tire. It says it lasts up to two years, so we'll see how it goes. It's a, a pin size hole. It's right there. See it? Okay, so it should easily fill this hole, but I'm going to put the tube back in the tire and then we're going to follow the instructions, see where we go. Okay, so some of the first steps that I see we need to do here is, uh, I don't know if you can see this, but we need to po position the valve stem on the tire towards the upper side. So we're going to do that. And then what we also have to do is take off this cap here and inside the cap, at the top, there's a spot here where we can remove the valve stem. So we're going to remove that. Make sure that when you purchase this, uh, I actually got this at Walmart, make sure that you have the cap on top. There was a couple of bottles sitting there that had no cap on it. Looked just like this. So that's key in making sure this works. So make sure you have the cap. We're going to go ahead and do that right now. I'm going to take our, our piece here and I'm just going to stick it in here and it just kind of goes in one way and then I'm just gonna start turning and you could see that's taking the valve stem out and there we go it's out okay the next step is to take the hose out of here you can see there's hose it's kind of slipping in there attach it to the top here gonna put it on there and then uh, now what we need to do is put that over the top of the valve stem looks like it'll fit right over the top of that pretty snug and we need to start squeezing the fluid in there now it does say on the back that this bottle or that actually if you're using this for a bicycle tire you want four ounces now, of course, if you're using this for a motorcycle, you want eight, or a wheelbarrow wheel, you want eight, stuff like that. It says it on the back. This is an eight ounce bottle, so this is enough to cover two tires. So I'm gonna go ahead and start squeezing in half of it. If you start squeezing real hard, you notice nothing's happening, like I'm having the problem with. Try to remember, there's a seal on this thing and you need to take it off. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna you know what I'm not real good with my fingers I'm gonna go get some pliers and take that seal off the top okay we're back we've got that off we're ready to go it didn't say anything about shaking it up so I'm just gonna go ahead and put it up here screw it on tight and we're gonna squeeze in about half the bottle and it, it honestly goes in really easy it's hard to tell where half the bottle is, but I can see just a little more. Okay, I think that's about it. So we're gonna take this off. And then what we're gonna do is reinstall the valve stem. So you wanna put this, I'm gonna zoom in so we can see this a little closer. Okay, so you wanna take, you wanna take this piece put it over that take this piece put it over there just like that and then we're gonna screw it back down until it's nice and snug don't try to over tighten anything you don't want to mess up your valve stem all right okay the next step we need to take is we need to put some air in our tire you could see it says inflate to 40 to 65 PSI when it has a range like that I'm gonna put in about uh, 55 PSI so I'm gonna start doing that now and then uh, once it's got the air in it we're supposed to move the tire all around 
So let's put the air in it and we'll see where we go from there. Okay, I don't know if you can hear me, but we, uh, we're at 55 PSI. Um, you can see it's pretty solid right now and I'm just gonna let it keep going around for, I don't know, about five minutes, but they didn't really say how long. Uh, I think we're, I think we're done. I don't hear any leaks. It still seems like it's pumped up really good. So I'm just gonna take the top off. I'm probably gonna go wash this in the hose and then I'm gonna put it back down in here where it goes. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the cap on cause I'd like to save this, the rest of this for later. I've got a lot of kids that could get a lot more flat tires. So that's how it works. If you have any questions, please leave something in the comments. Thank you. All right, it's been 24 hours and you can see the tire is still pumped up and my son's riding the bike to prove it is. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped you. If it did, please uh, give us a thumbs up, maybe even subscribe. Check out our other videos. Thanks.